what is up everybody welcome back to another episode of retro hoop collectibles uh as you've seen in the thumbnail and in the description and the and the title of the video hga has finally delivered uh their video <clears throat> outlining their grading process and um it's a <laughs> it's a very interesting video if you haven't watched it already i'll link it in the description we're about to watch it right now we're going to go through it um it's it, this is a very interesting video because i think they've um they've gotten a lot of flack um regarding their process and whether or not it's it's actual ai or whether or not it's you know it's even um you know it, you know everybody the, the kind of a hot button word right the whole ai thing um but i i watched the video and as somebody who has previously maybe somewhat scratched the surface uh when it comes to ai and general ai and neural networks and neural learnings and things like that i've delved into it just a little bit just enough to to know a few things and when i tell you that hga is using some legitimate legitimate concepts when it comes to neural networks and neural learning and actual ai if you want to call it that um they, they're they're it's pretty legit we'll get to that in a second because some as i was watching this i'm like what am i watching here am i watching a fucking ted talk on 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 ai or am i watching a card grading company talk about how they grade cards because for a minute there it kind of got the line blurred a little bit but anyway um we'll jump into this video real quick Hold on, I don't think you guys can hear that. Can you hear that? Hi, I'm Abby Vieira, and I'm going to take you on a tour of the card grading AI at Hybrid Grading Approach. First of all, this lady has great teeth, by the way. The, the, the chompers on this lady are top notch. Every card is scanned at an ultra high 3,200 DPI resolution, which provides an incredible amount of detail. High-res card scans are uploaded to the AWS cloud, where our proprietary card grading AI gets to work. First, the AI detects the card edges, differentiating the card from the scanner background. It then rotates the image so that it is exactly straight up and down. A proprietary combination of computer vision techniques are used, right. including convolution. I'm gonna tell you all right now, this is where it's gonna get weird, okay? And I'll try to walk through a few of these as they bring them up, but I'll, I'll go through all of them in a second. Filters, contour and edge detection, morphological transformations, minimum intra-class variance image binarization, and energy optimization based image segmentation. Oh, what? Hold up, what? Okay, this is where it got really weird for me because I think HGA was trying to do something here. And of course, y'all know how active Tyler is when it comes to these uh, these videos and me doing these videos. So he'll probably chime in. I hope he does. Because it is it is my thinking that this video was directed straight at the people who have said that you're not using, you know, saying that HGA is not using AI uh and that they're just blowing up images um <laughs> because so let's take the first one for example convolutional filters okay in order to know anything about convolutional filters you have to know about convolutional neural networks convolutional layering which is the good just google it just google convolutional uh neural network and without getting without getting too into it without getting too into the coding and and the amount of coding that's required and all the things that are required for convolutional filters or or subsequently a convolutional neural ne neural network what you need to understand is is that when you take a picture and you upload it to facebook and facebook gives you a suggestion that says hey this picture that you just uploaded there's three people in this picture it's you because we know what you look like and your mom is in this picture because we know what she looks like and then there's another guy in this picture that we think is your buddy tommy but he's got a shades on and a hat and we can't really tell but we we're, we're almost certain that it's him okay that 
AI, if you want to call it that, or that neural network or that learning neural network is using convolutional layers, convolutional filtering, and convolutional neural networks to be able to detect and make those suggestions. Just to give you an idea of the level of stuff that they're dealing with here. Um, contour edging and detection, that's pretty basic. I mean, that's kind of edges, corners. Um, it also is probably going to help with uh, uh, making sure that it differentiates the background versus the scan, um, the scan background versus the actual card itself. Morphological transformation, that's the one that gets a little funky. Um, that has to do more with colors, color blotching, and, you know, kind of looking at that's another one that you can that you can google there's there's a bunch of um there's a bunch of videos out there on on youtube uh i googled it real quick just before i did the video because there was one in particular that i thought was a really good video which i'll, I'll tag it in the description um but the point is here um that, that that what they're dealing with here what hga is doing and what they're using they're saying that this is what they're doing their proprietary code when it comes to artificial intelligence and neural networks and you know learning actual ai that learns and she gets into it into the video here in a second but this is a three minute video so it's not that long um their their process is a combination of all these things and all these things are legitimate ai concepts they're legitimate neural network learning solutions and it's legitimate ai um so I think that they were really, you know, Tyler and his team with this video were really setting out to go, listen, guys, this is not just some heavily scanned, you know, 2000 DPI scans that we just got somebody in front of a 4K monitor going, yeah, that looks kind of like this. No, no, no. This is, you know, this is legit. So, um, you know, I'll, I'll just kind of leave it at that. But I, I was... When I saw convolutional filters, I was like, okay, well, this is getting interesting. Um, so yeah. This is a finely tuned process that we created to determine exactly what parts of the image are the card and what parts are not, which is a critical first step in computing the card's edge, corner, and centering scores. Having detected in micro detail exactly where the edges of the card are, our AI compares the actual card edges and corners against ideal edges and corners and quantifies the difference to determine the card's edge and corner grades. That's legit. At the same time, the rotated image is... So if I'm not mistaken, that's going to be part of that, uh, that morphological transformation and how they do that, how they actually do that downsampled into a variety of lower resolutions, and each one is cut into a number of tiles to produce an image pyramid. As our graders zoom in to look at different parts of the card in detail, the image pyramid allows us to quickly stream image data into our card grading user interface. Our centering algorithm detects the position of the card margins. Lines representing you the positions here, of is margins and edges are displayed over the image of the card, <laughs> the and the distances between these lines are used to determine the card's centering. All right, so score. this is this is where he's at, this is where they get into the hybrid piece because the the detection can only do so much, right? And there was a there was a bit in At here. At HGA, we use a hybrid approach to grading. So you'll see First, this in a second. First, our AI does its work. Then our expert graders double check the AI. The lines marking the edges and margins of the card can be dragged into different positions, which will automatically. See, in this case, I would argue that he pushed it back just a little bit further because this is actually the print here. So you know, the back could have been eh, still fifty five forty five. Vertical is 75, 24, yeah. So um, this is where the hybrid update piece. Update the card centering score. Our expert graders examine the high resolution scan of the card and evaluate the actual physical card, which they have in front of them while grading to determine the card's final scores. Our AI department is hard at work every day employing state-of-the-art techniques and technologies to improve the speed and accuracy of our processes. 
All data from the grading UI is fed back into our system. Our enormous database of card scans and grades is used by our AI department to train deep learning neural networks and to test the accuracy of new approaches to grading automation. Every card we grade at HGA helps to make us, our technology, our processes, and our people better at what we do. I mean, you know, what else do you need, right? I mean, the, I, I watched this video. This is my second time watching the video. The first time I had to kind of, I watched it and then I was like, just kind of shocked, I guess. Not shocked, but like kind of, I wasn't expecting such a, such a technologically, um, you know, I wasn't expecting a TED talk on, on, on AI with some of those, some of those terms that they were throwing out. And I, but I think they did that on purpose though. I think they did that to, to kind of legitimize from an AI perspective, what they're actually using, uh, which is good because I think, like I said, uh, there's been a lot of this, this idea that they're, that they're not using AI, that they're just really scanning stuff, uh, and, and blowing it up and, and so on and so forth. But, um, you know, along, along with the AI, also, we got to see a little bit of the of the piece of, um, you know, with with the hybrid piece where it's actually somebody looking at what the AI said and then kind of making some determinations there. I think we saw a little bit of that whenever um, which they have in front of them. while you know, it, the, the AI scored it an eight, but they gave it a seven five on edges for whatever reason. They, they you know, m maybe didn't agree with the AI or maybe disagreed with it a little bit. Um, I think in this case, they gave the cards final you know, scores. Gave the corners an eight, and you know, versus the AI, which gave it a seven. I think that's kind of how that that that's working. Um, the ten centering on the front uh, versus the ten centering on the back. Let's see what if it gave a percentage. Oh yeah, okay. So yeah, it's almost fifty-fifty centering on the front, pretty much, according to this. And then the back obviously was just horrific. Um, so, I mean, oh, you guys weren't seeing any of that. My bad. But this is what I was, this is what I was kind of pointing at. Whereas it's, it's, it was, um, it, it, where it wasn't agreeing necessarily with the grades, right? So Front the grades were grading to seven and a half. The card's final scores. Yeah. Our AI. So anyway, um, I, I think this is a good, a good thing for HGA, right? To release this video and to really kind of talk a little bit about in detail what they're doing right and what they're talking about and what they've been talking about and what they've been using i can see why they took so long now to um to put this out um a little more i guess detail uh on the hybrid piece i, I would have liked maybe i don't know i guess i guess you know they showed a little bit of it um i kind of feel like uh this was more of a, a more of a commercial than anything it it felt a little a little bit pitchy to me like it's like they were pitching me on the idea of what they're doing um and i guess i was expecting more of a, a i guess something a little more casual you know like hey come on in this is how, this is you know come on in and take a look you know um sort of a la sgc the kind of the way they did their thing um and, and 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 not not to say that one's better than the other or whatever i guess i, I guess i just kind of had a, a preconceived idea of what i was i was gonna expect from from this video but and that may have to do with why i was so thrown off when i first watched it because i was like holy crap like they got they got technical into the weeds so um i think this is good i mean hopefully we see a little bit more uh, of this and and um again maybe hopefully we see something more uh, uh more to the idea of what you know kind of day in the life type thing you know where they kind of open up the doors and and start showing around and, and, and start doing some things like that. Um, so anyway, I, I think, I think this is great. I think it's great for HGA that they're putting this information out there. Uh, obviously there's been a lot, a lot of, um, you know, just things popping up against HGA, you know, the, you know, the, the slabs that were cracked, the, you know, the, um, uh, you know, the fake cards that are getting, that are getting, um, uh, graded. There was another one that just popped up the other day that somebody sent me, 
uh, on a graded car on a, on a card that was actually fake, a fake card. I think it was like a Wayne Gretzky or something like that that they graded, uh, graded and authenticated, but it, it was in fact a fake card. Um, so all of those things that are happening right now, right? Um, you know, with that, with the crack, you know, the slabs that are cracking that weren't sealed, the the fake Mahomes autograph, the fake um, Wayne Gretzky, all that stuff is completely separate. Those are operational things. That's all human error type stuff. Um, you know, that that those are things that, in my opinion, can be fixed. Um, they're bread and butter, and I think what sets them apart, in my opinion, was this concept of a hybrid approach. Uh, and this video does a very good job of explaining exactly what that is. I'm always looking for, in a new company, what I look for in a new company, and this is just with anything, right? Um, I love Hondas, and I love Chevys, uh, mainly because Hondas are really reliable. They do things right, in my opinion, when it comes to engines. I think Honda is probably one of the best engine builders in the world, as well as Chevy. Chevy makes some of the best and most reliable truck engines in the world. That's just what they do. And so um, if I was to venture off and invest in any other company or buy a vehicle from any other company, they would have to have something that sets them apart from those two variables. And this idea of these new companies popping up, uh, you know, in, in the grading space, they're going to have to give something new something they're going to have to bring something new to the table um you know and i think uh, you know i've talked a little bit about tgt i think what they're doing is is new and this is fresh and it's it's, it's something that's interesting and it's it, it's exciting enough and interesting enough to take a stab at it and figure out what it is uh hga when they first came out you guys can pull my receipts and look at my first video that i ever did on hga um i talked about how their hybrid approach was really interesting and exciting for me, right? I had no allegiance to any grading company. I didn't have, you know, 10 or 15 shoe boxes full of PSA cards and I wasn't a homer, right? Like I, I wasn't tied to that company. I had no loyalties to any grading company. So for them offering something new was interesting. And so I gave them a shot and, um, you know, so things like that. SGC was the same thing, right? I was wondering why nobody was subbing with HGC when they had just as good a pedigree when it comes to authenticating and, and uh, sports memorabilia. And I, I like their slabs better. I mean, th those are those are the types of things that everybody can kind of pick and choose what they want. But um, I think this is this video is 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 good. Uh, they, they certainly highlighted uh, both the AI side as well as the human kind of uh, piece of it, which which gives them their namesake of, of hybrid grading approach. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Uh, I urge you to go back to that slide where she was naming off um, some of the things that are part of their proprietary process and Google them. Just Google them um, and watch a couple of the YouTube videos that are out there on some of those concepts because uh, you'll quickly realize how legitimate from an AI perspective and from a neural a neural network perspective, uh, which that's really all AI is, is a, a, a learning networks. Um, you'll, you'll quickly realize how legitimate some of those, uh, some of those processes are. So, um, I mean, kudos to HGA, I guess, for, for, you know, putting this together. Hopefully we'll see something a little bit more, you know, if I had, if I had an ask, right. If, if, if there was something that I would have liked to have seen is uh, something a little bit more of opening the doors and here's what our operation looks like. Uh, type of thing. That's actually what I was expecting, but this is actually pretty good as well. So um, anyway, let me know what you guys think. What did you watch the video? What your what were your initial thoughts on the video? Does this change anything for you when it comes to a, uh, to HGA? Um, here's another thing too. How much more special are some of these tens and some of these flawlesses uh, going to be after the release of something like this, where um, it's clear that they're very stringent uh, on their uh, on their grading and rightfully so in my opinion so anyway i'll leave you guys with that thank you guys for watching y'all know i had to do this video it's gonna be a longer one but i felt like it needed its its proper time to talk about it and um anyway let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all for watching love y'all peace